Armen Solar Aircraft. So this is the experimental prototype that I develop, design and of course make. It has been always my dream to make the airplane that flies basically for a longer period of time. Not just if you like fly then you need to land and recharge the batteries. But that you can fly basically the whole day. So my design was to make the airplane with solar cells quite a big airplane that could charge the batteries and then the batteries will power the electric motor and airplane will fly. So the design that I made was based on a glider design. This one was the first design but it was too small. It had too small wing surface area so the solar cells didn't produce enough energy. Based on this experience I made the second, second airplane that was quite a bit bigger. The wingspan is 2.65 meters and the wing area is 50 square decimeters. I put on 36 solar cells that give me around 50 watts of energy. This energy is converted to energy that is charging the lithium-ion batteries. I'm using these batteries, they are, have, are capable of high current discharge. They are uh, wired together, two in series and three in parallel. So this gives me 7.4 volts of energy and 9 amp hours of capacity. And also the max discharge, discharge current is 120 amps. The motor only consumes maximum of 30 amps. My goal was to make an airplane that could fly for 16 hours to construct and create the aircraft airplane, to choose and assemble solar cells, battery and the most important charging system that efficiently charges the battery. The shape of the airplane was very important. Of course it has the folding foldable propeller, so it is more efficient when gliding. On my airplane I am using two types of solar cells, one of them are polycrystal and the second are based on foil mesh. This is because I designed the wing that the second half of the wing is, um, is flat and the first one, the first half is curved in the profile of the wing to of course uh, create lift. The airplane is controlled by, by remote control or by a computer because airplane also has the autopilot inside that controls and maintain the whole flight. So for flying I am using 110 watts of energy. This means when I'm climbing for about one minute consumes 1.8 watt hour of energy and then I'm gliding with one minute of climbing I can glide for 10 minutes. So the charging the solar cells give me 50 watts of energy. But if we divide this by 2 because of the shading of the solar cells and we can assume the minimum about 25 watt of produced energy times 10 minutes gives me 8 watt hours watt hours of produced energy. Then we can assume that the about maximum that we will get from solar cells in 10 minutes is 5 watt hours of energy. But still 5 hours is more than, than 2 watt hours that is consumed. So this makes this project a success because solar cells give me, give me way, way much energy that I need for flying. This is very successful experimental prototype, the test flight, the airplane flies as expected, all my expectations were fulfilled. I am very happy with my project that it is so successful because I know this is the future of aerospace industry, not just in hobby and drones, but also in the big real airplane they could use solar cells to help them charge the batteries. So this 
kind of project can be used in a variety of different situa situations for filming, photographing, searching, uh, firefighting, rescuing, military, foresting, surveilling, but mostly just for hobby. I am also planning to make a new bigger, better airplane, not gliding, but the, the real airplane. So I had a lot of difficulty with researching this because I'm the first one to make this. This was released on the in March of 2017. Um, the, my sources for this project were like Wiki, Wikipedia for solar cells and lithium uh, batteries. Okay, thank you for your attention. If you watch this video for the end, this means that you like it. Thumb up or thumb down, whatever you like. I do. I would be very happy if you if you subscribe to my channel. A lot of new contents and new ideas coming up shortly. Thank you for watching and goodbye. This is Luke Artel from Slovenia.